Welcome to Canberra Stadium. It's a highly anticipated test match here. Assisting with the analysis in this match is Justin Marshall. And Justin, it's set to be a good game. I think so, yeah. Should be some good quality rugby. It's an excellent turnout here. There's not an empty seat to be seen. The place is absolutely packed. But no prizes for guessing my pick in this match. Australia, they are the favourites. Let's get the game on. The stage is set and they're almost ready to get underway. And we're almost set to go. Kickoff made by the number 15. And that's been lost forward. He's playing advantage. He really should have been able to take the ball from the look of it, but he lost it. We'll have a look here. Yeah, he just lost control of the ball on that occasion. Brutal contest in the scrum. Both teams putting pressure on. And that's well contested by the Wallabies. And they come up with it. Ball is out now. He's missed by the centre. And it's regathered by the number 15. They'll have a line out on the 22. McCutcheon dragged it down nicely. Back inside to Mum. Driven hard into the turf. Now away to McCutcheon. He runs effectively. Still there, I think, for Australia. Breaks through. Oh, a costly mistake from the number five. Right on his own goal line. They were clearly in front there, and he's caught them. Well, just have a look here. Yeah, that's offside. Referee right on the spot that time. And an easy kick here for Cooper. Right, here's the kick. It's over, and there's the first points of the match. They'll be satisfied with that outcome. Getting first points would have been high on their wish list. The restart. McCutcheon takes in the kickoff. And a good show of strength there to beat the tackle. That was a forward pass. Let's have a look at this. A scrum now. The scrum fed by the halfback. They've turned it over, beautifully done. Halfback takes the ball. The number 15 with a pass. Fends, but is tackled. Looks like it's there for the Wallabies. Gets it off to the second 5-8. Gets it after the bounce. A good punt by the number 14. With a good catch while airborne. It was good. Some really stellar catching from Chisholm. Now the pass to the second five. Inside now to the open side flanker. No way through. Back it goes now for the number five. It's been brought back for the scrum. Let's look at this replay. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed at that. Touch. Pause. 
Oh, good hit by Australia. And a good battle going on here. Ball comes for Guinea. Halfback takes the ball. Cooper slips in the short one. Oh, look at that from Ashley Cooper. They might still have it. Gives it out to Mum. And he goes straight through. This will be a try for sure. Now, Pelota now. Pelota now goes over for the first try of the match. It was the pass that set it up, and he ran onto it very well. Well, I'd definitely like to see this again. Conversion is coming up. Cooper steadies himself for the kick. Successful conversion, 10-0. That's a handy lead they've got now. And the kickoff is made here. The kickoff down to McCutcheon. And there's an intercept. Out of nowhere, there was such a great catch in his bow. And they've turned it over. Guinea did well to create the turnover. The number 15 takes it in. Cooper unable to hold him. Got through the first tackle. The tackle's not enough. The open side flanker finally stopped. The number nine goes hard and straight. They might still have it. The hooker with a little pick and go. This is big ground being made here. Possible turnover here. And the ball's turned over. Guinea, it was good work from him which then created the turnover. Yep, totally agree. And it's been lost forward. Chisholm launches down to claim the ball. And they'll come back for the scrum. Well, have a look at this. He just couldn't control the ball. He'll be disappointed with that. pushing from both teams. They've turned it. Guinea off the back. O'Connor not finished yet. That's halfway. There's some real force in this defence. Guinea driving hard now. Now it's off to Ashley Cooper. Powerful fend. Tackled now after a good run. And it looks like it might be a turnover. The pass finds the first five. And finds touch on the halfway. It's taken by Mum. Pops the pass. Palu goes for the offload. Mum still going. That tackle hasn't stopped him. The front rower fails to put his man away. The number 13 brought down now. The lock picks it up, has a go. Excellent run, but good defence made on him. And yeah, there's no defence at all. They really need to start getting it right. Cut out pass to Shepard. The opportunity to score here. Barnes dives after the loose ball.
nicely anticipated and read by Buani. Breaks the tackle and pushes on. And here's a good run by McCutcheon. That's the 10 metre line. Nice defence. Turnover. They were banking on getting this back, and now they have from the turnover. Bang on, Justin. O'Connor has to catch it. He puts on a good burst. The hit takes him over the touchline. So this is a line-out. One by the second rower. The tackle's not enough. Beautiful little pass from the left winger. A good tackle by Palu. They've turned it over. Beautifully done. Palotta now was the one who turned it over. A good piece of work from him. The open side flanker taken into touch. And that's a line out. The number seven gets it. Good clean line out. And it's important to get good quality ball like that. Pilotta now, lovely tackle. That's a poor pass. Elsom claims the loose ball. Tries to break it, but they've got him. Well, if they can't improve their defence, they'll be in danger of losing this match. A searching run by Daly. Amazing! The number four makes the tackle. Good, strong run by Genia. And this time he's taken. Anybody's ball here. The centre picks and goes. Now the kick. Takes it on the bounce. Nice sidestep from Elson. Dodges his way through the tackle. Yuani brings it up over halfway. The ball's gone loose. The second rower dives and collects it. Throws it on for the number 11. Passes it back to the captain. Short, clever pass. The blindside flanker continues over halfway. Surging towards the line now. They might still have it. They've turned it. Guinea was who created the turnover for Australia. Yes, indeed. Well, scoring before half-time would give them a big psychological boost, which they need. Oh, this is one heck of a run. Lovely footwork there. The, the crowd are out of their seats. That is a try. It was a good build-up there. I like the way they handled themselves. And they get some points as a result. So, here's the try again. You can see his pace here. It is remarkable. No one could catch him. But it was a great pass that set him up. Conversion to follow. So this, an easy conversion, right in front of the posts. No trouble with that. Two more points. This should add some much needed confidence into this side. The Australians lead at half time 10 to 7. So, half time here, and such a close match so far, a real surprise. It's a sellout crowd here, and the players will love coming back out of the tunnel to a huge roar. Not the tidiest of matches so far. Now we have a look at the stats. Looking at the territory figures, it's pretty even really. There's been some great counter rucking so far and that's reflected in the stats. And a reasonably high number of hit ups from both teams. Lots of hard work being done up front. Now the kickoff. Kickoff fielded by Buani. Slow. 
slow rack ball. And he's too strong for the loose head prop. Shut down by the second rower. Cut out ball from Elsom. Ashley Cooper brings it up. That try was worth the price of any entry ticket. Well, they deserved that, didn't they? They built that try. Now this is the sequence leading up to the try. And the conversion to come. Not the easiest of kicks here, but looking to convert this five-pointer into seven. The kick looks good from Cooper. And the kick is over. Score now 17 points to seven. That is good. Very good kick on that occasion. The Wallabies out to a healthy lead. Kickoff is made. The kickoff fielded by Buani. O'Connor gets the ball away. Short one from Guinea. Looking for support. That pass finds Mum. He's got some pace. And they drag him down. Still there, I think, for the Wallabies. Delivers the pass out to Chisholm. He's chucked a beautiful pass inside. The number eight stops him now. The scrum half gets it away. Oh, he's got away. Palu brings it up to halfway. Past halfway. The second rower knocked it on. So they'll come back for the scrum. Here's the replay. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed at that. Now we'll have a scrum. Be interesting to see if they can make any headway against the strong scrum of the Wallabies. Furious looking scrum down there. They've turned it. The ball is out, collected by Guinea. Not a good scrum there. They are under big pressure in this area. The offload ability, it's something to look out for in Australia. Textbook tackle from the 5 8 They might still have it. Guinea loses some ground. Ball turned over. The turnover came from a good piece of work by the scrum half. The right winger thumped into the ground. That pass finds the number 15. Boots it downfield and takes a bit of pressure off. O'Connor lets it bounce. An interception by the centre. What a run and long. And he dives over for the try. He's done the right thing there, and a good finish gives them the points. That is a superb try. It's what they need to keep doing, really. Now we're looking at the replay for the build-up to the try. Look at that. That's good skill. Just does all the right things to score. We've got the kick still to come. Conversions don't come much easier than this. The number 15 easily converts the try. So with that, the gap closes right up and they would have to favour their chances to get ahead.
restart them. The kickoff snapped up by Kenya. He got away briefly but was dragged down. Still there, I think, for the Wallabies. A lot of now, and the pick and go. There's a try on it. He's tackled and taken into touch. The number five takes it nicely. Their performance in the lineout has been pretty solid so far. And they'll go to a scrum. Fed now by Guinea. And a good battle going on here. Halfback takes the ball. The ball is out now. Pabu is close to the chalk there. Ashley Cooper probing run towards the line. Oh, what a try. They have some real continuity in their play. That's a good result for them. Just check the build-up in the replay here. Here's the kick from Cooper. It's a tough angle to kick from this one as he looks to convert the try. It sails towards the posts. Oh, it's hit the post, but no goal. Even the best of them miss from that wide out, so he won't be disappointed with that. So the kickoff is made. That short kickoff has given his team the chance to dispute possession. Shepard gets a sudden burst of speed. They might still have it. Delivers the ball to Palu. Runs at the line. And taken finally. Sends it out to Shepard. He dives onto the loose ball. So unable to work it and they'll come back for the scrum instead. Let's watch here. He just couldn't control the ball. He'll be disappointed with that. Australia looking to get the upper hand. A brutal contest in the scrum. They've turned it over, beautifully done. Genia picks up. Barnes, short pass. Looking for runners, finds Cooper. He scoots ahead. He's been hit hard. He's tackled there but made good ground. Now it's off to Kiwani. Oh, that's a shocker. Barnes goes short. Chisholm thumped into the ground. Feeds it off to McCutcheon. Now this will be a kick and chase. Here comes the chase. Try there, under the posts. Yes, that's very impressive, I have to say. This is an exceptional try. And they've hit back once again, quick succession. So, that's excellent work. Yes, you're absolutely right. And there's a shot at goal to come. So this conversion, an easy one for Cooper.
kicks and walks away. He knows it's over. The number 10 is kicking brilliantly in this game. The number 15 kicks off. As the kickoff is claimed by the back rower. Strong driving defence there. The scrum half feeds it off now. The tight head prop, not quite so easy to put away. They might still have it. Delivers the pass out to the number 13. The Fent ineffectual on that occasion. Cooper keeps going. Shepard goes hard. Beautiful offload. Cooper makes a good burst. Real chance here. An easy kick to follow. The try right beneath the sticks. Just breaking through the line with amazing gas. And the finishing was superb. Absolutely exceptional try. Quade Cooper controlling the game nicely for his team. Yep, that's right, Justin. Kick it, goal still to come. Should be no problem here. I'd imagine he kicked these ones in his sleep. Flags go up. Two more points. Cooper has kicked well so far, hasn't he, Nisbo? The number 15 makes the restart. Waiting now is Buani. He slipped through an ordinary tackle. Then for McCutcheon. Support now from Palo. Now they drag him down. They could have turned it here. Genia not finished yet. He shows a clean pair of heels. And they might have turned it as well. Palu moves it back. McCutcheon cutting out his teammates. Burst out of the first one. Big hit there. It's picked up by the right winger. Yeah, that's a very good position to attack from. Gives it to Chisholm. A cutout pass to Elsom. Has a go. Strong run. Looking for runners, finds Shepard. And he's thumped it down in the corner. Yeah, that was a great try, all right. And they're looking very comfortable in the way that the game is at this stage. Excellent work to get another in quick succession. Well, there's some high-quality stuff here. Seven minutes to go. Cooper has the conversion. This kick almost from the sideline as he looks to turn five points into seven. Seven minutes left here. Looks like he might miss this one. He misses, this one pulling wide. Yeah, he didn't hit it well, did he? It really just didn't come off the boot that sweetly at all. So there's a change here. The captain is finished for the day, replaced by Poyles. He can be happy with his contribution around the field. So, just a few minutes remaining here. The number 15 with the restart. Kickoff taken in by Kiwani. He runs effectively. And now it's a ruck. Five minutes remaining. Delivers the ball to Boyles. And a good show of strength there to beat the tackle. That's the offloading skill we love to see. 
Mum is absolutely smashed. And he's knocked over the line. Not long to go now. The last few plays of the match. The open side flanker stretching up. Their performance in the lineout has been pretty solid so far. We're in the last few minutes now. The front rower picks it out of the back. Past the halfway there. The Wallabies might have stolen this. The number nine picks up and runs. There's the ball. Gets it off to Kiwani. Inside pass. The lock takes him down. We're into the last few ticks of the clock now. Pick and go by the scrum half. It's a very good run. Nice tackle, but not before he made plenty of ground. The Wallabies have turned it over. Guinea was the one I think who turned it over eventually for the Wallabies. That is a good kick into touch. And in fact, the whistle blows, the game is over. The Wallabies have the victory. Australia have claimed the victory. What an impressive match it was. The Wallabies untroubled in the end and able to come away with a handy win. Cooper, didn't he kick well in this match? He looked full of confidence every time he stepped up. They simply lost the ball far too often for a team of this level. The Australians dominated almost every aspect of this game. The Wallabies come away victorious here at Canberra Stadium. It's been a great game. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye from us.